Today's game is coming live from still-burning Los Scandalous Crazy Donia, where the Porsches are all paid for, everyone's big break is still coming, and the starlets say, don't worry, baby, it's only a cold sore. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Nashville Lycans battle, the Los Scandalous Volts. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I scared a little shit up. I am a hell of a son of a... If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the NFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you asked for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. Second down and more than the QB would like. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat for phase? They're not as literal as you think. Third down and eight. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion, but then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filming the clown. Somebody's gotta make the balloon animals. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself i'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring First and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down and long. to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. Third down and long. <laughs> if the 
there were any functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the first set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs. First and two. The defense better look out. The offense. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. First down to five. And he was 
Grim's running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll bring up third and one. through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Four on that passing catch. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged. Oh, welcome to Bubbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, they get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. waving fingers in my face. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving him a size while we're broadcasting, Grim. And 
It's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and five. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the... And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb. Ricks, it's the two minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? First down and five. Scrambler. And that'll bring up second and one. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And that'll bring up third and one. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a frog in my head. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And that'll be their final timeout. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a... Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. 
In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And this ref is definitely on the tank. That was a bogus penalty. Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them... And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Damn. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face oh and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out second down and seven That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. For a kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim! It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's 
first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right out. He could go all the way. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a saw buck riding on this asshole. And it's first and ten. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. First down and three. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. You know, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Fritz can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. This guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and 10. He was not going to drop that one. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? First down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Second down and five. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in lost wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's.
It's first and ten. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack once today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Not until he's cooked. Second down in a mile. Explosive this week. He meant it literally. Okay, go back, Kim. Kim on. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. You can tell he's a berserker because he's from boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grip. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. And the kick is good! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Boom! And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. First and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a zap attack. Lightning can't strike twice, but he sure can. And he's off to the races. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. This really puts the fun back in football. Don't it, Grim? That's a great dirty trick. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Man, can I kill him? Finds his man for the first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. You know the defense wants some payback after that. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Third and four. Timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this. <laughs> and he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. You got hit by a car. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Rim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. He had it for a second there. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. More points, so they're going for two. And they run it in for two points. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting 
corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing scoring machine. What a story. We got a, what a wonderful story. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> And the Los Angeles Volts take the win today. They handed the opposition a crushing defeat with a two-point win. And talk about a close one. Speaking of close, do you ever wonder why razor blades need five blades? I get a close shave just fine with one of those cheap travel razors, don't you, Graham? No idea what you're talking about. Let's hear what the MVP has to say about this victory. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.